Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm doing a DIY project on my home boiler. And um, the project on it is the automatic air vent needs to be replaced. As you can see how it's leaking right here. And I guess it's been leaking for a while and uh, it has gradually gotten worse and you can see the water on the floor. So we're going to replace that and I uh, went and got one and I guess they're also called an automatic float vent. So this is a Watts, one eighth uh, Watts valve. So we can open it up and see what it looks like here. And it looks like they've got a little bit of a, I guess a blue protector thing I'll have to pull off. And that's it. 150 PSI, 240 degrees. So, so what I did is I hooked up the, made sure it is turned off. And I uh, closed off any valves that need to be closed. And I then hooked up a hose to the drain line, which for me, I can drain it into my basement drain, or you could drain it in a bucket. And I opened it up and I drained the water to take the pressure off. So the next thing is going to do is, let's remove this and clean this up. Okay, I'm back. Now we're getting ready to take this thing off of here. I'm using a crescent wrench. Here we go. Make sure nothing gets crazy here. Okay, here we go. There it is. So cleaning it up with a little wire brush and then a nice a soft brush to clean it up a little bit. All right, well, we got it cleaned up as best as I could. And what I used on the threads of the new, the new one, this is a Watts style uh, vent. And it has this little plastic windbreaker on it. So that's, I thought maybe that was, re that got removed, but it doesn't. That's actually part of the, of the um, vent. So I used some multi-purpose thread sealant on it, but you can also use some, uh, the thread tape but the thing is is when you use the thread tape as you're looking at it from the bottom you go clockwise with it and then make sure that the first couple of threads you leave the thread tape off because if you have it all the way covered and everything you go to screw it back on pieces of it could fall back into the system so you don't want that so i have I happen to have both options here so let's go ahead and thread it, thread it on. Okay, there you go. Nice and snug on there. I like it. Okay, so I made sure it was nice and snug. And with this one, it says rotate the black cap two times to activate the automatic vent. So, one, two, backed it off two turns to activate it. So that's done there. All right, I disconnected the hose and we filled it back up. And we filled it back up with water 
turned it back on. And uh, looks like so far so good. We have nothing leaking. And so we're cooking and boiling right now. So I'm waiting for it to uh, build up the pressure and see what we get. Okay, folks, furnace is working. And uh, so far, no leaks. The furnace is still, I turned all the thermostats, thermostats up and we're still increasing in the pressure and temperature and all that. So I'd say that's a success. So there you go. Hope that helps. DIY, replacement of the uh, automatic air valve on a Wheel McLean boiler. 1998 so there you go thanks for watching